Hey guys, so I had a request on how I groom my brows, so I thought while I have a moment, I will quickly show you that. Um, I'm not going to show you how I how I maintain them. Um, I do thread them a little bit, mostly just to get rid of the bulk of the hair, so along the top and around there, but I don't thread them for shaping because I'm not very good at it yet, I'm still practicing. So for the fine tuning, I um, tweeze them. And the way that I normally get the shape that I want, um, I follow the natural shape of my brows. I think the best way, the thing that's going to suit your face the most is the way that your hair already goes. You just need to accentuate your natural features. Three best friends when I do my brows are my 266 MAC brush, my duo brow brush, and my Vaseline lip balm. Uh, now, one other thing is that I don't trim, trim my brows um, for two reasons. I personally don't like the look of it on myself. I, um, I prefer to have the, the hairs long and natural. I just like the look best for myself. The second reason is that by doing this, I can subtly alter the shape of my brows. It does make a huge effect, but it does subtly alter it a little bit. So if I want to, actually I'm going to put a little bit of Vaseline on first. So. What I do is I get my Vaseline and I rub a little bit on my finger. Sorry, this good thing is my phone. <laughs> um, I rub a little bit on my finger and then I dab it on the brow brush. And then I groom my brows into the shape I want. Now I find that this keeps the hairs in place really well. Um, it also gives them sort of a wet look, which is just to me slightly more polished. Look. And it helps the hair stay where I want it to. And it also helps the colour that I put on stay. So now what I mean when I say that I can subtly alter the shape of my brows is that by grooming the hair in a certain direction I can control it to a certain extent. So if I want to have a slightly uh, rounded look, I sort of brush it down, brush it up there, brush it down, brush it down. It doesn't change it much but it changes it a little bit and if I want to give a slight appearance of having a straighter brow, I can't do it very well because mine are quite arched, um, but I brush it up all, all the way and then sort of brush it down just a little bit at the top. And the colour that you put on top is going to help as well because when you add the colour you can um, accentuate the direction you put the hairs a little bit more as well. So I'll just do the other brow as well with my Vaseline. I like to groom my brows into the shape I want and then put my colour on and then I'll go and tidy them up afterwards as well. Now before I put the colour, I'm going to show you my Garamis palette which is fantastic. The colours are amazing and they're so pigmented, I'll show you. If you just, any colour, I'll just dab my finger on it like that, put a little bit on my wrist and it stays. It doesn't rub away. It's really, really good. That's just like touching it once. It's fantastic. You know, it's a theatrical palette as well, so it's made to stay. It's it's um, better quality than pharmaceutical. Now, when I like to highlight my brow, I have this off cream color here, which I just I like using my finger, and I just dab it along my brow bone. And then if you really want to accentuate them a little bit more, you can just take your angle brush and dab it in that white and just go right along the edge of your hair. And then just blend it out a bit. And that just enhances them and accentuates them just a little bit more again. Now, um, if I'm going for a more dramatic look and I want to have darker brows, I'll use 
this color right here. But for today, I'm just going to use the lighter color, which is this color right here. They don't have names or numbers on them. Well, they have numbers, but they don't have names. So the colors, the dark brown is 566, but the one I'm going to use today, the slightly lighter one, is 565. And the cream color that I use is 580, and the white color is 001. But I just take my angle brush and just dip it in. And just really lightly just brush it across the hair. And I want them arched today, so I'm just going to follow those lines. And I sometimes just like to extend it a little bit more as well. Show you again on the other side because you can see that one better. You don't need much, a little bit goes a long way. It's a really, really pigmented colour. You can use any eyeshadow. I normally recommend going for one that's slightly lighter than your hair colour, um, particularly if you're going to be using something like Vaseline or a lip balm or a brow wax because that tends to darken the colour. So follow that line all the way across, same on the underneath. And then when you get to where you want it to arch, follow that line and just sweep it up. further I like to. Sometimes I do it really dramatic but for this look because I want it quite natural I'm not going to. And that's pretty much it. So after that you can just go and groom any hairs that have come out of place just back in where you want them to go. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have got any um, Vaseline onto your skin and it's just shining a little bit, just take a tissue or a cotton bud and just wipe it away. It's easy to fix. So I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful and good luck. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to do my best at answering them if I can. Um, but yeah, that's just how I groom my brows. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.